Hello, good evening everyone in the Zoom room and those who are tuning in sa Facebook live po natin for tonight's Bible study session. This is um, a session that we want to have in order to reach out, especially po sa mga August 2021 MedTech Board Exam uh, takers na nagsiself-review. Um, although, no, ito po ay may, sa mga nasa Zoom room, uh, marami rin po kami mga students na enrolled sa the checkpoint online. We are welcoming everyone who want to join us tonight for this special season. Uh, I mean session. <laughs> well, it's a special season too, but uh, tonight is a very special uh, night na sana po ay maging uh, helpful for everybody who are attending and for those uh, who will be able to see this in the future. But before we um, formally start, let's just offer a short prayer. Lord, we thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to do something like this, Lord, to glorify and honor your name, Lord. May you be the center of this activity, Lord. And um, uh, we are hoping na wala pong kahit anong aberya ang mangyayari sa buong session, Lord. And uh, we are praying na ang puso po namin at ang isipan namin ay maka, uh, maging open po para sa mga maririnig namin tonight, especially the sharing of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, um, good evening again, future RMTs ni Lord. Well, uh, I think pwede na po natin tanggalin yung word na future, no? Dahil, uh, ikiklaim na po natin <laughs> na RMTs po tayo ni Lord this August 2021. Amen? Amen? Can you please say amen? Huh? Kapag nag-amen po tayo, ibig sabihin we are now already um getting our blessing from God. 26 days from now. <laughs> and when I uh, mentioned that, no, maraming, marama, marahil, marami po sa inyo ang medyo kinabahan nung narinig yung natitirang araw. At yun po yung magiging purpose kung bakit natin ginagawa ito. To address your anxious hearts and uh, your fear. No, kasi di ba minsan, we are trying our best, but then there are times na sarili po natin yung magiging kalaban natin dahil tayo po ay kinakain ng mga negative thoughts. Especially if we have a dark past, no, yung mga past failures natin, yun yung madalas mag-replay or mag-flashback sa ating mga uh, isipan medyo marupok. Alright, kaya sana po starting tonight ay tayo po ay magbigay ng uh, pansin no dun po sa part na yun ng buhay natin. Kasi mga beshi waps, mga beshi cells, ang board exam is just one part of your life. It is not everything. But um, of course, it is important to us professionally speaking, but sana na-realize nyo po na bukod sa RMP title na gusto nyo makuha, God um, is concerned more about your personality or character, I mean, character development, and of course, your relationship with Him. Sana po, um, when there are sessions like this being offered to you, na meron kang chance na matend sa mga ganitong klaseng activity, you don't take it as a waste of time. Because I know I've been there. There were there was a season in my life when I think na pag nag-Bible reading ka pa or nakinig ka pa sa mga words ni Lord, parang, parang, sayang sa oras kasi imbis na magamit mo yung one hour or two hours na nakikinig ka eh magamit mo sa pag-aaral eh parang nasasayang po no but of course I, I i learned my ways already i learned na there is um you know yung yung time that you are putting into uh knowing god more and yourself more and your relationship with god it will never be a wasted time ever Alright? Walang sinasayang si Lord na opportunity sa buhay natin pag ganun. Kaya, sana no, kahit na po meron kayong mga iniisip na sayang po, no? sayang, ayoko umatid niya, sayang yung oras na pwede ko ipangbasa. Hindi po sayang. Kaya, ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng umaatid ngayon live sa Zoom at yung mga naka-tune in po sa Facebook Live. And you are you are giving up a part of your life, a part of your time in this session. And we are really praying na makatulong, no? genuinely makatulong sa nararamdaman niyo po para sa nalalapit na board exam po natin this year. Okay? Now, uh, are you happy tonight? Are you? How are you feeling right now? May I please know 
both po sa Zoom room at sa mga naka-tune in sa ating Facebook Live, can you please share with me what you are feeling right now? Are you like happy? Are you like scared? Are you um feeling blah? What, what are you feeling right now? How are you? Okay, I want to know. Uh, kamusta po kayo ngayong oras na to? Itong moment na tinatanong ko. Are you are you sad, depressed, or whatever? I I I don't wanna say yung mga ay <laughs> ayoko ng diktahan kayo kung anong nararamdaman niyo. So kasi ako ngayon at this moment I am really happy and uh, blessed. You know why? Because this has been my dream. You know, well, I'm not uh, outspoken about it before, but deep in my heart, I wanna have something like this. For myself, nung ako po yung nagre-review, sana may mga ganito. May ganun akong pakiramdam. And nag-thankful ako ngayon dahil nagagawa ko siya. Alam niyo yun? Are you getting my point? I hope you are. Because when I was in, my, in your place, when I was about to take the board exam, of course, I was also unstable. Of course, I would have uh, needed someone to talk to me about it and, you know, share the, the feelings. But, well... There was no one. <laughs> and so, I became that someone. And hopefully, para sa inyo. No, sana po ay maging helpful talaga itong mga ginagawa natin. Alright? Um, uh, just a bit. <laughs> Medyo nag-prepeak tayo dun na. Um, just a, uh, a back story. No? Uh, kaya po kami nagkaroon. Although we have sessions like worship sessions. Um, magtroon kami ng regular Sunday Bible study with the students. Actually, students din ang magpapacilitate tonight. I'm just, you know, easing you in. Uh, magtarong kami sa The Checkpoint Online ng regular Bible study every Sunday night because there were students who are concerned with their co-students. Kasi dito po sa The Checkpoint Online, meron kaming feedback form kung saan pwede kang maging anonymous. You can share whatever it is that you want to share, your feelings or your your kung meron kang feedback sa lecture or what but majority of the the sharings ng mga nakaraang buwan ay tungkol sa pinagdadaanan sa buhay na apart from the review so y- yung journey with God yung journey with life and so there are students who came to me and asked pwede po ba tayong mag Bible study and then of course I was so happy na uy nang galing mismo sa students yung desire na magkaroon ng ganitong session that's why I'm very very blessed and priv- privilege to have this session with my students. And for tonight, a student will share the word of God. Alright? So, ko, ko take care nyo rin po siya this August 2021. And sana makinig po tayo. Sana ay uh, maisabuhay natin yung mga sasabihin. Okay? Let me just read some of your answers sa aking, aking pong tanong. No, medyo marami ang nagsabing kinakabahan, lutang, confused, kabado, merong mga happy and scared at the same time. Parang ang dami ko pang hindi naaaral, excited pero kinakabahan, blank and anxious, pagod. Pero kumakayad pa rin, oh my gosh, hugs to everyone, pressured pero masaya, parang left out. Parang ang daming hindi naaaral or notes na hindi nag, nababasa, nagpapanik. Alright? So, maraming salamat po sa mga nag, uh, sumagot sa aking question. No? So, sana at the end of the session, kahit pa paano mabago natin yung ilan sa mga nararamdaman nyo into something positive that you can hold on to until the last day of the board exam or even until the last day of your life. <laughs> well, big shot yun, no? Medyo suntok sa buwan yung, yung dasal na yun. But God is... God of the impossible, so who knows, right? All right, so without further ado, without further ado, I would not, I would now like to um, share with you yung pong ating word na gusto i-share sa atin na, na isa pong co-taker. Okay, co-taker nyo rin din siya ngayong August 2021 MedTech Word Exam. And so let's listen to her, all right? Magandang gabi po sa bawat isa. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Kamusta na po kayo? Siguro po marami na po kayong naaral. Marami na rin po kayong napagdaanan. Ayan. Pero ngayon, pag-uusapan natin in God's perfect time. Babasahin natin ito sa aklat na Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 to 15. Ang sabi po dito, A time for everything. There is a time for everything. 
and the season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to heal and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stone and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom them what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live, that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil this is the gift of god i know that everything god does will endure forever nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it god does it so that people will fear him whatever it has already been and what will be has been before god will call the past to account Ayan. Familiar po kayo no na sa sa time, sa time ng ating buhay. Siguro uh, uh, marami sa atin yung time conscious. Ayaw nila nang may nasasayang na oras sa buhay nila. Gusto nila lahat nagiging productive sila. Pero nasubukan niyo na ba na maghintay dun sa tamang oras? And pag-usapan natin. So ito yung mga problema kung bakit Uh, hindi natin nararanasan yung perfect time ni Lord. Una, comparing ourselves to others. Kinukumpara natin yung sarili natin, kinukumpara natin yung uh, yung sarili natin sa iba, kung, kung nasaan na sila, tapos tayo nandito pa rin, ikaw naghihintay ka pa rin, ikaw hindi ka pa rin makaalis dyan, paulit-ulit, di ba? Paulit-ulit yung inaaral, paulit-ulit yung nangyayari sa buhay mo. Pero kung nakatingin ka sa iba, hindi mo mararanasan kung ano yung nilaan sa iyo ng Lord. Kahit ikaw man lang, maging kakaiba ka kasi alam mo na may Diyos ka eh. Alam mo sa puso mo na, Lord, alam ko ikaw yung kasama ko eh. Sabi sa Romans 12 verse 2, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Huwag mong gayahin yung ginagawa ng mundo. Huwag kang sumunod sa pattern ng mundo. Pero anong, anong dapat natin gawin? Transform our mind by renewing it. At malalaman natin kung ano yung ninanais na Lord na gawin natin. Nagagawa nga nila, ba? Diba? Nagagawa nga nila yung gusto nila. Nandun na sila sa lugar na gusto nila. Nagagawa nila yon. Pero, tandaan nyo na yung pagiging, hap- yung pagiging masaya, yung happiness na binibigay ng mundo, it will never last if it is not from God. Sabi sa Ecclesiastes 3 verse 9 to 10, What do workers gain from their toil? Ano nga naman yung mapapala nila, ba diba? Sa pinaghirapan nila. I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. Pero totoo naman na lahat ng pinagpaguran natin nagiging worth it. Pero the question is, magbibigay ba to sa atin ng buhay? Tanungin mo yung mga ginagawa mo ba eh, para sa Lord at nagbibigay sa iyo ng buhay? Alam mo, kahit wala ka dun sa alam ng mundo, sa gusto ng mundo, sa gusto ng mga tao para sa'yo, pero nandun ka sa lugar, nandun ka sa proseso na gusto ng Lord, it will bring life to you. It will bring life hindi lang sa sarili mo, kundi pati sa mga taong nakapaligid sa'yo. 
Kasi alam mo na bu- yung buhay mo ay nasa Diyos. Kasi you know God has own plan in your life. Ito yung nilaan sa akin ng Panginoon eh. At dito ako gusto ng Lord eh. Dito ako nilalagay ng Lord eh. ba? Diba? Okay lang na kahit hindi, hindi ka maging kaaya-aya sa paningin ng tao. Pero ano yung nagmamatter? na nagiging pleasing ka sa, sa paningin ng Lord kasi ginagawa mo yung gusto ng Lord yan, sabi sa verse 10 alam ko na ang tinakda ng Diyos sa tao sabi ni Solomon sinabi niya na alam niya yung tinakda ng Lord sa buhay ng tao ba diba? mababasa natin na mababasa natin simula Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 to 8 na lahat ng nangyayari sa mundo under the heaven, lahat ng nangyayari sa mundo, may tamang oras. A time, a time to love, a time to hate, a time to weep. ba diba? Lahat may tamang oras. Pero ano yung ginagawa natin? We rely on what we know. We re- Mas nag rely tayo sa kung ano yung nakikita natin, sa kung ano yung nalalaman natin, sa kung ano yung sinasabi ng mundo. Pero sabi sa Ecclesiastes 3, verse 11, He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet, no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Sa Tagalog, babasahin ko po ulit, in- iniangkop niya ang lahat ng bagay sa tamang kapanahunan. Ang tao'y binigi, binigyan niya ng pagnanasang alamin ang bukas, ngunit hindi binigyan ng pag-unawa sa ginawa ng Diyos mula sa pasimula hanggang sa wakas. So dahil mas gusto natin uh, nalalaman agad, gusto natin ano ba, ano ba yung mangyayari sa akin in the future, ano ba yung dapat na, na nasa stage na ako ng buhay ko, na dapat ganito na ako in the future. We don't trust sa kung ano yung sinet ng Lord sa puso natin. Kaya we set our own eternity. We set our own time. We rely on what we know. Pinapangunahan natin yung gagawin ng Lord sa buhay natin. Baka kasi akala natin hindi mangyayari. Kasi gusto natin, nakikita na natin agad yung mga bagay-bagay. Gusto natin, nakikita na natin kung saan tayo pupunta, kung saan tayo patungo. Pero... The Lord never fails us. He never fails His promises if we wait. Dahil kung ano yung sinimulan ng Lord sa buhay mo, tatapusin niya yun. Hindi ka iiwanan ni Lord. Hindi ka iiwanan ni Lord sa ere. Akala kasi nung iba na kapag ka, hindi na sila nakarating doon, akala nila pag hindi na nangyari, akala nila uh, iniwan na sila ng Lord. Akala nila tapos na yung Lord sa buhay nila. Pero ang totoo lang na nasa process ko pa eh, kasama yan sa timeline ng buhay mo, binigay yan ng Lord sa'yo. Gusto lang ng Lord na ikip natin yung faith natin, ikip natin yung pagtitiwala natin sa Kanya. Dahil kapag nagtiwala tayo sa Kanya, hindi tayo matatakot sa hinaharap. At ang ating susunod, afraid to face what tomorrow will bring. Natatakot tayo kung ano yung susunod, kung ano yung future, natatakot tayo na baka hindi natin, uh, hindi tayo makarating dun sa gusto natin. Pero, sabi ni Solomon sa Ecclesiastes 3 verse 12, I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live. Sabi sa Tagalog, alam kong walang pinakamabuti sa tao kundi magpakaligaya at gawin ang pinakamabuti habang siya'y nabubuhay. Diba? Live your life to the fullest, sabi nga nila. We only live once, pero yun nga lang, natatakot tayo sa hinaharap natin. Hala, baka bumagsak ako, baka hindi, hindi ako maging RMT, baka maulit lang ulit yung pangyayari. Natatakot ako. Lahat naman, may takot na nararamdaman. Lahat uh, nangangamba, lahat nag-aalala, pero Kapag namumuhay ka para sa Lord, hindi ka matatakot. Kasi alam mo na hawak ng Lord ang buhay mo. Pero kapag natatakot tayo, madami tayong dinadagdag sa buhay natin eh. Kailangan kapag nasa ganitong edad na ako, dapat ganito na ako katulad ng iba. We make our own rule. We make our own timeline. Sabi sa Ecclesiastes 3.14, 
I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it so that people will fear Him. Nalalaman ko ang, gina- ang ginagawa ng Diyos, magiging magpakailanman. Walang bagay na maidadagdag o anumang bagay na maibabawas or maaalis. Walang bagay na maiaalis. Iniisip natin agad na baka hindi mangyari. Kaya gumagawa na tayo ng timeline natin. Marami na tayong dinadagdag sa isip natin na dapat ganito, dapat ganyan. Masyado nating uh, kinakrowd yung isip natin ng pag-aalala. Masyado nating kinakrowd yung pag-iisip natin na baka hindi mangyari. We need to acknowledge God's power na si Lord in control siya sa lahat ng bagay sa buhay natin. Sabi sa Ecclesiastes 7 verse 14, When things are going well for you, be glad. And when trouble comes, just remember, God sends both happiness and trouble. You never know what is going to happen next. Nagmamatter yung ngayon. Ano ba'y nasa puso mo ngayon? Nagmamatter kung ano yung uh, kung ano yung ginawa ng Lord, maganda man 'yun. 'Di ba? Magpasalamat ka o kung dumaan ka man sa sa mahirap na pagsubok. Tandaan mo, sabi ni Jesus, sabi ng Lord, God sends both happiness and trouble. Hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon magiging okay tayo. Hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon magiging masaya tayo. Kaya nga gusto ng Lord na tumatakbo tayo sa Kanya. Masaya man tayo o hindi, okay man tayo o hindi, gusto ng Lord na sa Kanya tayo. Diba? Nag-aaral ka man, nagtatrabaho ka man, o kung nasa ang sitwasyon ka man ng buhay mo, ano yung heart mo? Nasaan yung heart mo? Nagtitiwala, ma- nagtitiwala ka ba sa mga bagay na pinlano mo? Nasa tingin mo kasi yun yung magbibigay sa'yo ng tamang oras, yun yung magbibigay sa'yo, yun yung maglalagay sa'yo na dapat nandito na ako? O nas- nasaan yung heart mo? Yung heart mo ba nagtitiwala sa tamang oras ng Lord? Lahat ng ginagawa ng Lord para sa atin ay ikabubuti natin. At we need to trust in His own timeline para sa ating buhay. Susunod so, po natin, how we will know God's perfect time. Meron na ulit tayong acronym, LIFE. Love the Lord with all your heart. Intimacy with God. Faithful to the Lord. Eagerness in seeking Him. Love the Lord with all your heart. Sabi sa Romans 8.28, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are who are the whole, according to His purpose. Na yan. Na lahat ng nangyayari sa atin, kapag minamahal natin yung Lord, alam natin na ito ay para sa ikabubuti natin. Lahat ng uh, nangyayari sa atin na, sa sa buhay natin, mapasa ang season ka man ng buhay mo. Lahat 'yan may dahilan. Lahat 'yan ginagawa ng Lord para sa ikabubuti mo. For you to grow, 'di ba? Minumold ka ng Lord. Gusto ng Lord na maging better person ka. Maging better person ka kaya gusto ng Lord na kahit may pagdaanan ka, magtiwala ka lang sa kanya. Kahit na maglakad ka sa wilderness, kahit na maglakad ka sa valley, sa madilim na daan, kahit maglakbay ka pa ng malayo, if you love the Lord with all your heart, you know that things that all things are working for your good. All things are work together for your good sa, sa nagmamahal sa Panginoon. At lahat ng nangyayaring ito, Sempre pinagkaloob yun ng Lord sa tamang oras, ba? Diba? A time to weep, a time to mourn, a time to be happy, ba? Diba? Lahat yun, lahat ng nangyayari sa atin, may dahilan at gusto ng Lord, magtiwala ka lang sa Kanya. Kung minamahal mo yung Lord, magtitiwala ka sa Kanya. Kung minamahal mo yung gagawin ng Lord sa buhay mo, 
mananampalataya ka sa kanya, magtitiwala ka sa kanya. And yung pangalawa, intimacy with God. Sabi sa John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No comes up to the Father except through me. Kapag wala tayong relasyon sa Panginoon, hindi natin malalaman kung ano yung ninanais niya sa atin. He is the way, Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, Jesus is the life. Kapag meron, meron kang relasyon sa Lord, meron kang relasyon kay Jesus, He will always make a way. Lagi kang dadali ng Lord dun sa katotohanan, lagi, ka na, lagi kang dadali ng Lord dun sa may buhay, dun sa lugar kung saan magkakaroon ka rin ng buhay. Tanggapin mo si Jesus, not just as personal Savior, but also a personal Lord. Na kahit sa ang aspeto ng buhay mo, hahayaan mo yung Lord. Na kahit madelay ka man, kahit na mahirapan ka man, hayaan mo yung Lord kumilos sa'yo. Hayaan mo yung Lord yung mag-move sa heart mo. Hayaan mo yung Lord yung kumilos para sa'yo. Hayaan mo yung Lord yung lumaban para sa'yo. Kasi kapag may relasyon ka sa Lord, malalaman mo na, Lord, sige, dito mo ako nilalagay eh. Magtitiwala ako sa'yo. Kung kailangan ko maghintay, magtitiwala ako sa'yo, Lord. Magtutuloy ka dahil alam mo na siya yung kasakasama mo. Run back to Him. Change your mind. Renew your mind. Magkaroon tayo ng relasyon sa Lord. Kasi yun talaga yung daan. Para malaman natin lahat ng will ng Lord, ng promises ng Lord sa buhay natin. Because Jesus is, there is nothing too hard for the Lord. Lahat ng bagay na overcome na ni Lord. Eh kung kasama mo si Lord, kung may relasyon ka sa Lord, lahat ng aspeto ng buhay mo, sa lahat ng pinagdadaanan mo, ma-overcome mo yan because you are with Jesus. And nasa puso mo si Jesus. Pangatlo, faithful to the Lord. Sabi sa John 15:7, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. If we remain in God and if his words remain on us, everything we ask on prayer, it will be given to us. Kasi nakikita naman ng Lord yung heart mo eh. Nakikita naman ng Lord yung paghihirap mo. Nakikita ng Lord lahat ng ginagawa mo. Nakikita ng Lord na nagtitiwala ka sa Kanya. Nararamdaman ng Lord na mahal mo siya. You are being faithful to the Lord. Hindi na ba faithful si Lord kapag may mga bagay na hindi na nangyayari sa atin? Hindi na ba faithful si Lord kapag hindi na tayo naging okay? Hindi ba sapat yung pagiging faithful ni Lord sa buhay natin para hindi tayo maging faithful sa Kanya? Kaya kahit na anong mangyari, if you remain in God, if we remain faithful in God, we will know God's perfect time. Malalaman mo kung bakit kung bakit ka nandyan sa season ng buhay mo, masaya ka man, malungkot ka man, kapag ka-faithful ka sa Lord, kapag lumalakad ka sa journey ng buhay mo with the Lord, you will know God's perfect time in your life. Pang-apat, eagerness in seeking Him. Sabi sa Lamentation 3 verse 25, To 26, the Lord is good to those who wait for Him, to the soul who seeks Him. It is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Kapag naghihintay tayo ng gagawin ng Lord sa buhay natin, at kapag sa paghihintay na yun, sinisik natin siya, hindi, hindi tayo papabayaan ng Lord. Kahit na naghihintay ka, sinisik mo pa rin yung Lord, nagpe-pray ka pa din sa Lord, nagpapasalamat ka pa rin sa Lord, 
Blessed are those who wait. Akala natin, hindi na mabuti yung Lord kapag naghihintay tayo. Kasi parang antagal-tagal. Pero, kailangan lang natin sa paghihintay na yon sinisik natin siya. Kailangan, meron pa rin tayong hope. We wait quietly. We wait patiently to the Lord. Sabi sa Matthew 6.33, Seek His kingdom first, and, and all these things shall be added unto you. Unahin mo si Lord sa lahat ng bagay, maliit man yan o malaking parte ng buhay mo. Unahin mo siya. Dahil kapag inuna mo siya, you will be blessed in everything. So, ask yourself and check your heart. Will I trust God's timing in my life? Kung yes yung sagot mo, How do I wait patiently in God's timing? Mamahalin ko pa rin ba yung Lord? Kahit wala ako dun sa timeline ng buhay ko na ninanais ko? Willing ba ako na hawakan ng Lord yung buhay ko habang nasa waiting time ako? Magiging faithful pa rin ba ako sa Lord kahit na parang nag-fall apart lahat? Isisik ko pa rin ba yung will niya sa buhay ko? Isisik ko pa rin ba siya sa panahong naghihintay ako? Ask yourself and check your heart. Sabi sa Habakkuk 2 verse 3, For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and it will not delay. Sabi sa Tagalog, isulat mo ito sapagkat hindi pa panahon upang ito ay maganap. Ngunit, mabilis nalilipas ang panahon. At mangyayari ang ipinapakita ko sa iyo. Bagamat, parang mabagal ito, hintayin mo. Tiyak na mangyayari at hindi maaantala ito. May mga bagay na feeling natin hindi para sa atin. Siyempre, feeling natin yun eh, na baka, baka hindi talaga ako para dito. Pero para saan ba ako? Kailangan lang natin maghintay. Kailangan lang natin hintayin yung gagawin ng Lord sa buhay natin. Hindi pa tapos yung journey ng buhay natin, tinatapos na natin kasi hindi natin makita kung saan tayo makakarating, hindi natin makita yung promises ng Lord. Parang walang kasiguraduhan, hindi ako sigurado, ayoko na. Kasi baka walang mangyari. Pero, lagi ko nire-remind yung sarili ko na gusto kong i-share sa inyo na wala kang mga kasiguraduhan sa mundong ito. Kahit yung Lord lang, yung maging kasiguradohan mo. Kasi lahat ng para sa iyo, darating yan. Lahat ng gusto ng Lord, lahat ng pangako ng Lord, darating yan sa tamang oras. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. Diba, bagamat parang mabagal ito, hintayin mo. Tiyak na mangyayari at hindi maantala ito. Siguro, marami din na nakakaranas o nakakaramdam. Feeling mo hindi mo deserve. Feeling mo or feeling ng ibang tao, hindi, hindi nila deserve yung kung ano yung meron ka. Pero kapag binigay ng Lord para sa'yo, pag, binig- pag ginawa ng Lord sa buhay mo, walang makakapigil dito. Walang makakahadlang. It will not delay. It will certainly come in your life. Because the world is full of uncertain things, but the Lord is certain to His promises in your life, in His perfect time. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Lahat 
ng nangyayari, lahat ng mangyayari sa tamang oras na binigay ng Lord, nagiging maganda. Pangit man ngayon yung pinagdadaanan mo, pangit man ngayon yung, yung lugar kung nasaan ka, yung panahon kung nasaan ka, pero in God's time, it will be beautiful. Everything was made beautiful in its time. Lahat ng bagay magiging maganda kapag nasa tamang oras na ng Lord. And that's it. Now, I want to thank the uh, uh, student who just shared the word of God and she wants to remain anonymous. But in behalf of the people who heard the sharing, we want to thank you for everything that you have uh, mentioned. Na kung, kung, kung baga, simula sa umpisa ng sharing, para ang hirap uminag, di ba? Um, there will be um, those... Um, Maybe one or two things na talagang tinatamaan tayo, like being scared of the things that the future uh, holds, right? And being not able to move forward because you keep comparing yourselves to others. But there are a lot of problems that we may encounter in this life. But the thing is, we really want to know what's important. Now, what is important ba? It is important that you really... um. When you say you trust God, you do it not only by words, no, not only by Facebook status or social media uh, sharings, but in your life, ina-apply mo siya. No, hindi po tayo um, gumagamit ng mga Bible verses para lang meron tayong um, may ma-share. No, gusto natin na kaya natin natatandaan yung mga Bible verses because we live with it. Alright? We live for it and we follow it. Alright, so uh, maraming salamat sa mga nabanggit ng ating pong sharer. Meron po ba sa inyong gustong mag-share ng kahit ano? We are now opening the floor for anyone to, if, if anyone will want to say uh, or share anything. If you are too shy to speak, you can send it to me via private message and I'm just gonna read it to everybody. But uh, hindi naman po ito sa pilitan. I'm just asking baka lang meron sa inyong mag, gustong mag, you know, mag, mag uh, unload ng nararamdaman at kung ano man yung uh, gusto nyo pong uh, malaman din ng iba. No? Baka meron po kayong mga testimony na hindi nyo po uh, alam na kung maririnig ng isa or dalawa sa mga umaatid ngayon, it may save them. Alright? You know, I always say to my students or to anyone I am able to speak to na sa punta pong ito ng buhay ko, parang wala na akong <laughs> kumbaga parang Every time na merong problem or struggle, imbes na matakot, imbes na mag-worry, may part ng puso ko na parang nagiging excited because I, I, I think about the lesson that it will bring. Kasi when I am put in a situation na hindi ko naintindihan, medyo magulo, medyo masakit, medyo mahirap i-process, I always uh, say to myself na ay may purpose naman to. Every pain has a purpose. Every tear that comes out of your eyes, ay may purpose po yan. No? Walang sinasayang na pagkakataon at um, uh, experiences si Lord. Sa ngayon, hindi man natin naintindihan, pero in His time, no? that's our theme for tonight, in His perfect time, it will all be revealed to us. Alright? So going back to what I'm saying, ako po, kung ako ay nasa sitwasyon kung saan ako ay nagsachallenge, I always think about the lesson that it will bring because Once I overcome that situation, I will um, be able to share it again to the people who I am able to speak to. Diba? So, lagi ako na-excite na, Uy, Lord, meron na naman akong challenge na bago po sa akin. Pero hindi ako matitinag. I will be unshakable because I know that you will not put me in this situation without any uh, reason. No? Diba? Lagi namang merong dahilan kung bakit tayo pinag pina Um, pinadadaan ni Lord sa malubak na daan. Alright? And we just really need to put our trust in Him. And when you say trust, mga beshi, no, mga beshi sounds, mga beshi waps, may sinabi si Sharer kanina na kung tayo po ay nagtitiwala talaga, hindi tayo matatakot. Kaya kung ikaw ay mayroon nararamdamang takot ngayon, ikaw ay takot na takot ngayon, you check your heart. Are you really 
true to your to, to what you are saying that, that you trust God. Do you trust God? You know, I always ask that during the first day ng mga review sessions that I conduct. And I I um I um notice na sa simula pag medyo 100 plus days to go to go pa bago mag board exam. A lot of students will say, "Yeah, we trust God. We do." Okay? Pero pag malapit na katulad nito, 26 days to go, almost uh, what what? Uh less than a month to go. May mga say, meron na sa inyong hindi makasagot ng mabilis. Yeah, pag tinanong ka, "Do you trust God?" Medyo meron ka nang pagdududa na nararamdaman diyan sa puso mo. And that's that's what you should be working on. You know, guys, ganito kasi yung paniniwala ko diyan eh. Ako po bilang um uh, mother self ng the checkpoint online. I always tell my students na while I am really praying that you be become successful in this exam or whatever exam you're going to take in the future. I care more for your development too. Now, I want to use this channel to make you realize the more important things na kasabay ng pinagdadaanan mo ngayon. Like for example, you're taking the board exam. Pero sometimes, all your focus is on the exam, the preparation itself, that you forget that you also need God. And you really have to have Him for you to be successful here. Kasi I know stories, mga beshi cells, I know stories of students who are really prepared. They are confident that they say that they, say they are prepared. Pero pagdating mismo ng araw ng board exam, kinakain sila ng kaba. No, hindi sila, uh, hindi nila na-overcome yung pressure sa araw mismo ng board exam and so they don't um they don't continue. All right? In other words, they go home and not take the exam anymore because they can't handle the pressure. All right? So may mga ganang pagkakataon. So it's not all academic. Passing the board exam is not all academic. So I always say my stu to my students na I really do pray that you will be given whatever it is that you are desiring. But I care more for your development and your relationship with God. You have to have that kind of faith. Na kahit anong ibigay sa'yo ng Panginoon sa kahit anong season ng buhay mo, you are still able to thank God. You see, sometimes all you see is yung, yung painful memory mo from the past. Ikaw ay isa sa mga retakers, maybe you're, you're still hurting because Bakit hindi ako makapasapasa? Bakit yung iba isang take lang? Bakit pag yung iba nagbasal, na ibibigay agad? Ba't parang pag ako, ang hirap yung ibibigay ni Lord? Diba may mga ganang pagkakataon na nagka-question tayo? So, if you are like that, I wanna remind you na, hey, ma-chill ka lang. Now, there are, our God is not an unjust God. We may, we may think about Him like that kasi we, who are we to question Him, right? We can never understand what God uh, does, eh. I mean, completely understand Him? No. Kaya nga sinabi sa atin, di ba, you do not rely on your own understanding. So we have to lean on Him and give Him that part because God is God and let Him be God. All right? We are humans and we will never be able to completely understand what it is, um, whatever it is that is going on in our life instantly. Kaya nga sabi natin kanina, no, Sometimes we we are really more focused on knowing kung ano yung magiging outcome ng hinihiling natin, no? And we worry because we want to have assurance na tayo po ay papasa or magtatap kung yun talaga yung yung, yung yung dream nyo. Pero what I really want to say tonight is that sana ipagdasal mo na i-change ni Lord yung puso mo into into uh, something na uh, nakakatanggap at willing to manggap ng kung ano man yung naiisip ni Lord na ibigay sa'yo. Okay? Because you can never do this alone. You have to really have God in this. Alright? You can prepare all you want. No? Basahin mo lahat. Although, di ba, yun nga yung problema natin, hindi natin natatapos. Alright? Pero if you don't have God in this um, journey of your life, mama, sayang. No, sayang po. Kaya sana take opportunity, marami pang araw. Kaya ka lang natatakot ngayon kasi mas nananaig sa'yo yung, yung negative thoughts na baka hindi ako pumasa, baka bumagsak na naman ako. Kaya ka natatakot. That's why we are praying na Lord, change our hearts. Let us have hearts that are um, steady. That, let us have that kind of faith 
na unshakable, whatever may come. Na magkaroon man ng kasabay na problema outside the review, like kalimbawa financial or emotional, physical ailment or pagkakaroon ng sakit, even love life. No, may mga may mga estudyante po ngayon na talagang nag challenge because may sumasabay na love life and hindi mo naman pwedeng ipagkibit balikat 'yon kasi problema din naman 'yon. No, hindi naman natin sabi pwedeng sabihin na para love life lang eh, no, wala kang agad ng pag-asa, mahirap din naman yung sitwasyon na may ganyan. All right? Pero sana no, kahit ano man yung kasabay ng kung ano man yung pinagdadaanan mo ngayon, you are still able to say to God, Lord, thank you. Kasi kahit maraming problema, I'm still here. I am being able to breathe. My family is al- my family is alive. They are all well. We are we are safe from any harm or danger. We are not in an area where there are uh, where, where it is a war zone, di ba? I mean, you have countries na may kudit pa. O di ba, mas mahirap yung yung sitwasyon kapag ganun. So, there are things that we have to be thankful for, but we don't. Because we are too focused on the things that we want in our life. And thought na, bakit hindi agad binibigay ni Lord? Bakit kailangan masaktan ka ako ng paulit-ulit? Bakit kailangan mabasag at masira pa yung pagkatao ko ng paulit-ulit? That's because hindi po tayo willing na magbago. We are praying and praying and praying. We say, we keep on saying the desires of our heart. Pero pag andyan na yung process para maging deserving tayo of the prayers that we are asking for, we are not willing to undergo them. And as much as we can, we, we try to avoid. Right? So I wanna, I wanna um, remind you na kapag kayo ay nagbadasal, you also have to be willing. Alright? Be willing to be taught of whatever God is teaching you at this moment in your life, be willing to undergo several obstacles because overcoming them will make you better persons, will make you stronger persons. God is putting you through so much because He wants you to have that kind of strength. Para pagdating mo sa next level ng buhay mo, you are well prepared, you are well equipped. So always, Siguro ako, uh, the way I handled my life situation is like this. If hindi pa binibigay ni Lord, ibig sabihin hindi pa ako ready. So let me give you an example. Ngayon pa lang, board exam ang problema mo. May nakikita kang reviewers na hindi mo natatapos. Nagbe-breakdown ka, umiiyak ka, di ba? Umiiyak ka. Nagbe-breakdown ka. Eh, sino sa exam na yan? Oo, exam lang yan. Alright? Because there are a lot more problems in the real world. After nito, pag naging professional na kayo, there will be a lot of challenges. So, kung ngayon ko lang nagbe-breakdown ka na kasi hindi ka makatapos ng inaaral mo, so what more? Sa mga susunod mong challenges, right? So, you think of it this way. You have to make yourselves strong enough and resilient enough para sa susunod na challenges ng buhay mo. Okay? I'm not saying na bawal umiyak. Of course, you are humans. You are, you are allowed to to cry, you're allowed to be disappointed, you're allowed to be overwhelmed. Pero at the end of the day, what do you do? You surrender it all to God. You ask God for help. Because you can never do this alone. You have to realize that and acknowledge that. Okay? You can do everything that you can in, uh, in all your power, but it will be always God who has the final say. Diba? Lagi nga natin sinasabi, ang tao po nagpaplano, pero ang Diyos ang, ang, ang plano ng Diyos ang laging magpe-prevail. Alright? So, the point of this session tonight is for you to to, uh, to realize, okay, na nasa tamang oras ka lang. Although, sa human terms, sa human terms, meron sa inyo na pwede magsabi, ganito na yung edad ko, dapat katulad ako niya na RMT na, MD pa, o kaya siya may PhD na, may anak na. Di ba? We tend to be like that. We tend to compare kasi Ganun dapat yung timeline natin. But then again, sabi nga natin, everything happens in His perfect time. So kung saan kami nandun ngayon, nasa tamang oras ka lang. Hindi ka delayed. Hindi ka maaga. You are just in God's perfect time. And you have to have that 100% trust na totoo yung sinasabi natin. You, at this point, maybe mahirap ma-process, lalo na kung Nandung ka pa lang sa simula ng, alam mo yun, yung pagbibigay ng attention sa relationship mo with God. Pero it, it is not impossible. It is a process. And so sana, um, araw-arawin mo i-remind sa sarili mo na God has a purpose for your pain. God has something in store for you. 
And all these problems that occur in our life, they are not permanent. Soon, they will end. Once we already know what God wants us to know at this moment in our life, we will be given whatever it is that we are asking for and sometimes even more. You know that saying na burger lang in order ko pero happy meal ang binigay sa akin? No, madalas pong mangyari sa akin yun, mga beshi. Okay? So, bu- bu- bago po tayo pumunta doon sa sharing kong yun, meron lang akong gustong basahin, meron po nag-share na anonymous. Alright? Meron mong nagsabi dito na Doc, June last year, yung sked for exam yata is August 2020, then na-postpone. Pero, while praying, nasabi ko, is RMT by August 2021. Ah, nagpe-pray siya, pero ang nasabi niya, August 2021 instead of August 2020. Nabigla ako kasi sabi ko, bitan tagal naman. <laughs> pero ngayon, nandito na ako. Pero during this review, di po ako yung student na perfect na todo aral. Pero palagi po akong may distractions na at time, di ko maiwasan like Facebook, games, or entertain to things na hindi dapat and I tend to question na ibibigay ba sa akin to ni Lord if pasaway ako. Kahit na matapos ko na mabasa yung notes pero pasaway ako, ibibigay ba sa akin to? Yun ang worry ko ngayon do. And I pray to God na sana kahit na pasaway ako, ibigay niya pa din. Hindi <laughs> magbago yung isip niya. I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm laughing ha, pero kasi parang Um, pinapangatawa naman yung pagiging pasaway mo. <laughs> Hindi naman sa pasaway yun. Di ba? Meron din naman talaga tayong kailangang ibigay na leisure time sa sarili natin. But we have to really uh, pay attention to how much we are doing it. Okay? We are allowed to play eh, like um, kapag overwhelmed ka na sa mga inaaral mo. Hindi naman sa mga maglaro pero wag naman sobra. Baka naman 24 hours ka naglalaro tas 5 minutes ka lang nag-aaral. Okay, ko ikaw ba si Lord? Sa tingin mo ba deserving yung ganung student? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not saying na uh, I know how God thinks, no? But I do know that God is just. We may see he we may see his decision as bakit siya mas matalino naman ako sa kanya, bakit siya pumasa tas ako bumagsak? Well, you don't know everything that happened in that person's life in the first place, so why compare? 'Di ba? I mean, kung may nakikita kang bakit siya mas blessed kaysa sa akin? Hindi yung ganun. Alright? God knows everything. And you don't. So, para hindi ka matoxic, you just not do that. No? Don't compare yourself to others. You will have your own season. If you do, welcome whatever it is that God is giving you at the moment. Alright? If there are problems, huwag mo silang avoid Okay, i-welcome mo sila na, Oy, Lord, ganito mo ako pinagkakatiwalaan na may board exam ako tapos binigyan mo ako ng love life problem, binigyan mo ako ng financial problem, binigyan mo ako ng, uh, ng kunwari, may sakit ka pa, no? So parang feeling ko, kung ako'y nasa sitwasyon nyo, I will all, I will be happy, you know why? Kasi nagkakatiwalaan ko ni Lord ng ganun ka lang problema, He must be really thinking that I'm that strong, right? I mean, hindi ko hindi mo kakayanin yan eh. So, kaya marami kang problema ngayon kasi sabi ni Lord, ay, sisiw lang sa'yo yung isang problema. So, pagsabay-sabay natin. You have to really feel happy in that, uh, uh, using that thought. <laughs> wow, Lord, you're, you're trusting me too much? Ganun po ba kalaki yung, tiwa, yung tingin nyo sa akin? Ganun ba ka strong ang datingan ko sa inyo? And He will say, yeah. Because we, I will never put you in situations that you cannot bear. You just really need to Um, go back to me. If you don't know what to do anymore, you go back to me. And even if you do, you still go back to me. In everything that you do, you tell it to God. Alright? So, masaya man, or mahirap, or masakit man, include mo lagi si Lord. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you for this pain. Lord, thank you for this happiness. Lord, thank you for this blessing. There are a lot of blessings already given to you. Pero we choose not to see them because we are too focused on something na gustong-gusto natin ibigay sa atin. So, starting tonight, i-assess mo yung sarili mo. Ano ba yung meron ako na pwede kong ipagpasalamat? Bonus na lang itong pagkakaroon ko ng RMT this August 2021. Pero what I care more is being grateful even in the midst of um, any problem. No, kung marami po sa mga students ngayon nagkakaroon ng covid Uh, amidst the, the, the uh, review season, 
No, but we still can choose to thank God na, Lord, thank you pa din. Kasi nga, you will not leave, you will never, you will never leave us nor forsake us eh. So, if given this problem like now, right now, that means you you trust me and I can over, overcome this. Okay? So, going back to your problem, the problem is feeling nyo hindi kayo prepared. Right? Feeling nyo uh, hindi enough yung nare-review nyo. Tama ba ako? Diba? May mga ganun tayong feeling. Wala sa atin masyado yung confident enough to say na I'm ready. Sige, bukas na. Board exam na bukas. At kung may pagkakataon na i-delay, mas gugustuhin mo i-delay kasi natatakot ka. Alright? And I am telling you, that is all too normal. Normal lang na makaramdam na parang walang pumapasok sa isip mo. Normal lang na makaramdam na parang hindi enough yung naaaral mo. Normal lang sabihin sa sarili mo na wala kang alam pero ang totoo, sinungaling ka. <laughs> sinungaling in a sense na, uy, hindi naman sa wala kang alam. May alam ka na at marami ka ng alam. Feeling mo lang wala kasi gusto mo perfect lahat agad. Gusto mo maramdaman yung yung assurance na kahit anong gawin mo pasado agad. But that, but life does not work that way. That's why we are uh, we keep we are being um, tested by God regularly. Na kapag ba pinahirapan kita, you still believe me? You still trust me? Pag mabigyan kita ng ganitong sitwasyon na nahihirapan ka, can you still say out loud that you trust me? Kasi hindi, di ba? Di ba? Nagdududa ka ngayon, di ba? Umiiyok ka lagi, gabi-gabi kasi feeling mo babagsak ka, di ba? So, nasa yung pagtitiwala doon. Kung ako si Lord, I'm not saying I can compare to Lord, pero kung ako si Lord, pag sinasabi mo sa akin, Lord, I trust you, pero pag kami patakot, pero kung you trust me, patakot. So, kung tayo, kung tayo lang nahirap, sa so, pangarap nyo lang ba maging RMT dahil madali? Pag madali? Sa so, pag nahihirapan na kayo sa buhay nyo, ayaw nyo na? Wala na kayong pangarap? So, ganun. Kailangan ipakita mo kay Lord na kahit anong sitwasyon, Lord. Kasi gusto ko to eh. Ipapakita ko sa inyo kakayanin ko. Kahit natatakot ako, pero nagtitiwala ako sa plano nyo sa akin. Kaya kahit anong man maging resulta, nitong August 2021 board exam, Lord, I will fully accept it. Because you know better than I. If there are things na hindi ko talaga natutunan, I will fully accept na hindi pa talaga oras. Pero kung sa tingin nyo po, deserve ko na ngayong August 2021 na maging RMT ni Lord, well, I will really be grateful all my life. Will glorify you all my life. Diba? So check your heart. Natatakot ka pa, baka bumagsak pa eh. Ano, gusto mo merong assurance na papasa ka eh. Sino ba makakapagsabi? Diba? There are stories na kung loud din na siya, matalino na siya, pero hindi pa rin napagbigyan ni Lord, hindi pa rin pumasa. So don't tell me na ang basihan lang para bumas- pumasa sa board exam at eh, all academics. Well, there may be grade, grading system na pinafollow, pero alam mo lahat yan, ang work around yan kay Lord ang ending. But hindi pa nakita ni Lord na deserve mo ito ngayong oras na to, hindi yan ibibigay. Kahit anong gawin mo. Ganun din. Kahit anong gawin mo. Kahit anong para sa'yo, para sa'yo. Walang makakabali mo. And I'm speaking this because I experienced it myself. You know guys, nung time ko, 11 years ago, March 2020 ako, 2020 2020 ako, 2020 ako nag-take ng board exam. And among those takers, I can say na hindi ako ang pinaka-prepared. Marami akong reviewers na hindi natapos. There are even topics that I don't know. Beshi, sumabak ako sa board exam na hindi ko nga alam ang metabolic acidosis at metabolic alkalosis. Believe me, I'm saying the truth. I am just able to explain it right now kasi itinuturo ko na. Pero nung tapos ako yung mag-board exam, I don't know all. I didn't finish all my reviewers in one subject. And if I may say, yung isang reviewer sa micro para na sikat na sikat na, na itatago, itatago natin sa pangalang Apulon, <laughs> pinago pa yun, no? <laughs> yun yung lumabas sa exam namin pero hindi ko siya nagamit. Well, I do have Apulon but I never used it. 
Kasi sabi ng mga taga-September, di naman daw yung lumalabas. I mean, hindi na siya lumalabas. So, why bother? Sabi ko sa sarili, hindi ko na yan pag, pag tutuunan ng pansin. But it turned out, during my board exam, ang daming galing doon. So, imagine my registration. I, I am aiming for a top spot. That was my dream. That was my prayer. That was something that I needed to have to redeem myself because I wasn't able to graduate as cum laude. That was my frustration. When I graduated college, hindi ako umabot sa grade ng cum laude and I thought, wala na akong kwentang tao. I thought, wala na akong ma-achieve. I thought, ang bobo-bobo ko kasi hindi ako pumasok sa grade ng cum laude. That was what I was thinking back then. And so I told God, Lord, I have a dream. I want to top the board exam. Not for anything else, but to redeem myself and make myself believe again that I can do things. Even if wala akong grade na ipagmamalaki or Latin awards na ipagmamalaki. So that was my uh, dream. But then, during the board exam itself, there were items that I didn't know. I don't even know pass and race. But I bet you know that already, di ba? Sa fire, when the fire occurs, race. When um, the steps of uh, operating a fire extinguisher is asked, you do pass. Nung tinanong sa amin yun, ang sagot ko, Amen! Subject natin, mga beshi. Sa hitupat na ata, nabanggit yun kasi yung sasabihin mo after mo mag-pray. Di ba? Like, you know, the reason was so amazing. I am not even the most prepared. I can't even consider myself as deserving. But at the end of the day, at the end of the journey, God still made me a top notcher. And I'm, say, I'm not saying what to brag because I don't have anything to brag. It was just God's grace which brought me here. Hindi ako pinakamatalino sa batch namin. Hindi ako pinakaprepared sa batch namin. Marami akong mali. Hindi ko nga alam kung ano yung mga recalls kasi nag-self-review lang ako. Hindi ako ma-attend sa mga sessions na nag-review center ako. Hindi ko naririnig yung mga madalas itanong. Pero inilaban ko, Beshi. Inilaban ko kahit sobrang nakakatakot, sobrang nakakakaba. Ilang beses din ako umiyak. Pero never akong sumuko. Sabi ko kay Lord, Lord, kung para sa akin, para sa akin. Para sa akin ba? Para sa akin ba? Sa tingin mo, ako na yung pinaka-deserving? Sa tingin ni Lord, oo. Oo. Ginawa niya ako number two. Pero ba't hindi pa number one? <laughs> Nagreklamo pa yan, no? So, get my point. At this moment in your life, you keep on questioning kung kakayanin mo ba. Pero, you know, you have to realize na, Lord, whatever it is that you are planning in my life, I will fully accept it because you know better than me. Okay? So, uulitin ko sa inyo, I'm speaking from experience. I may just look like someone knowledgeable at this time kasi itinuturo ko na siya. Inaral ko na siya para may ituro ko siya. Pero during the time that I am going to take the board exam, I was also like you. I didn't finish any reviewer. I didn't know any recalls. I was crying the first night of the board exam. I, didn't, I wasn't able to, to review more. But then, sabi ni Lord, Nakatakda na yan eh. So kahit sabihin mo na hindi ka nakatapos, kahit sabihin mo na hindi mo nasagot ng tama, kahit sabihin mo ang dami mong mali, of nature ka na. Kasi si Lord ang nag-decide. When the Lord says He will do something, it will happen no matter whoever says anything. So hold on to that promise. Kaya starting tonight, pray to have a heart na marunong magtiwala ng totoo. Yung, yung tiwala na kahit na, nakakatakot yung future, ilalaban mo. Kasi alam mong may Diyos kang backup na mas malaki dyan sa na, kinatatakutan mo. And always remember that when God says no, it doesn't mean na hindi ka niya mahal. In fact, kaya ka niya pinap, pinapag, um, pinapadaan sa sitwasyon mo kasi mahal ka niya, gusto ka niyang maging better. Gusto kanya maging stronger. Gusto niyang kakayanin mo yung mga susunod na challenges ng buhay mo. So don't take the presence of your problems and pain in your life as a sign of absence ni God. That does not mean that God does not love you. 
God loves you so much. And if he doesn't, will he send his only son to save you? Serving ba tayo na ma-save? Sa lahat ng pinagkagawa natin sa buhay natin, are we really that deserving? Di ba nakaka-guilty na hindi? Tapos ngayon, magdududa ka pa? Magdududa ka pa sa kakayanan ni Lord? Sa mga desisyon ni Lord na, uy, kung hindi ibigay sa iyo ngayon, or, or ibigay na sa iyo ngayon, magdududa ka pa kasi ang gusto mong mangyari, ang gusto ng puso mo? Check your heart and ask God to touch you and con- convert you to someone who will have unshakable faith and a steady heart that no matter wherever you are in your life, whatever season you are in, you will always be able to sing for the Lord, praise the Lord, thank the Lord for everything that you've been, you've been through, and for everything na um, napagdaanan mo nga. I hope everybody is getting my point. I'm just saying that I want you to become a fighter, not a quitter, just because you are scared. I always say just because kasi mas malaki ang Diyos sa takot na nararamdaman mo. And if you will only focus more on God's ability to do things that you think are impossible, you will be unstoppable. No one else can take that away from you. Kapag sinabi ni Lord na RMT ka na, wala nang ibang mga kabali no. Okay, gets nyo ko? So, iloban mo yan. Hindi, huwag mo isuko dahil lang nakatakot, dahil lang feeling mo wala kang alam. There are things na hindi talaga natin maintindihan, pero merong magko-cover sa weakness natin. In our weakest point, God will be strongest. So, surrender to Him. Ibigay mo lahat sa Kanya. I'm not saying na huwag ka na mag-aral sa mga susunod na araw. Of course, you you will still have to do your best. Like, you try to finish what it, whatever it is that is in your schedule. Pero if ever na hindi mo talaga matapos, do not worry about it anymore. You've done your best. God knows that. Sa lahat ng tao sa mundo, I mean, sa lahat, ng, sa lahat siya ang nakak- mas nakakaalam kung gaano pinaghihirapan to, kung gaano pinagbibigyan ng effort to. Kaya ibigay mo sa kanya, Lord, ito lang talaga eh. Hindi ko na talaga kaya eh. Pagod na ako eh. So ikaw na po bahala. Kahit ano na pong mangyari, ibibigay ko lang sa inyo laban. And God is already there. There is not a day that He has not seen yet. And He is your victory. Kaya claim it already. God is our victory and God is here. Alright? So wag kayong, wag kayong sumuko. Ilaban niyo yan. Now there are items here. There are messages here. I'm just gonna read na. Meron po tayong nagsabi dito. For those people who keep trusting who keep trusting God and putting all their faith in him, all their struggles and trials at the moment are all not in vain. You are now more than a conqueror. You are now more than victorious because you have God in your life. Amen to that. Ano ba to? Personal message ba to? <laughs> Doc, thank you po so much sa session na ito. Saka ko lang po nalaman na ang laki na pala ng gap namin ni Lord. Parang ang layo ko na sa kanya kasi sobrang eager ko na pong makuha ang RMT. Nakakalimutan ko na pong magdasal bago matulog kasi pagod na. Na-abuse ko na po ang sarili ko dahil sa pag-aaral kasi parang ang dami ko pa rin hindi alam. Kasi mababa pa rin mga scores ko sa mga exam. Kaya salamat po talaga, Doc. Ang dami kong na-realize tonight. Thank God. Praise God. Praise be to God. Hello, Doc. Share ko lang po last May 15 na stroke si Mama. Nakastart lang po na ng review ko noon Napatanong ako kay Lord ng bakit po ako, na bakit po ngayon pa, naisip ko po na itigil na lang po, tapos sumasabay pa po yung relationship problem. Napapatanong po ulit ako na bakit ako na naman, sinabi ko titigil na ko na po talaga, dumating na po ako sa point na nag-apply po ako ng work. Pero si Lord po, alam ko sinasabi niya sa akin na mag-take ako, kaya andito pa din ako, nagtitiwala sa kanya. Alam ko po na siya ang magsasagot ng exam. Maraming salamat po. Yes, amen to that. Alright, thank you for sharing. God bless you. Sana po, di kayo magpagod na gawin to kasi ang nila. Ano kaming ganyan? <laughs> God is bigger than your worries. Amen to that. God is greater than the highs and the lows. Faith can move mountains. And of course, yeah, God is the God of impossible. 
Believe you can and you're halfway there. Oh, amen po. You're never a loser until you keep trying. Not my will, Lord, but your will be done. Very beautifully said. Not our will, but your will be done. That makes me remember one very, very beautiful worship song. I hope you will listen to it. When um, you are down or when you're depressed, um, may sinabi siya doon na, I want what you want, Lord, and nothing less. Kasi Breshi, you may want something and you may think that you really deserve it and that's the thing that you really, really have to have para maging worthy yung buhay mo. Pero God knows more. God knows better. So sana po maging prayer natin starting tonight, Lord, I want nothing nothing else but what you want in my life. Because whatever it is that God wants in our life, it will always be for our good. Alright? Naniniwala ako, Doc, na nakasulat na talaga yung future natin sa book of life ni Lord. Natapos niya na at alam niya na ang future natin. Kailangan pa na lang natin maghintay kung kailan niya ipapublish. In His perfect time. Napakaganda. Maraming salamat sa mga sinishare niyo. Ha? Maraming salamat. Napakaganda yung inyong pong mga sinasabi. Yung time na sobrang desperate ko, nag-resort ako sa modern witchcraft, manifestation, etc. Ano yun? Pero late ko na po na-realize na considered witchcraft yon I felt super guilty and I was hoping na tanggapin niya ako ulit kaya super breakdown ko na. Naiyak po ako sa message niyo. I will go to the max. I am redeeming myself now, Lord. Thank you sa message. Ay, <laughs> bakit parang bilanggit ko si Lord doon? Beshi, whatever it is that you think will make you not deserving of His love, forget it. God does not judge you that way. Well, in the end of our leg, He will judge us, but Kung buhay pa tayo, we will always have an opportunity to go back to Him. Kahit gano'n pa tayo kalayo. Di ba, meron story na may 100 ships. Tapos may isa lang na nawala, eh, inifortan pa ni Lord na hanapin. Naalala niyo yun? So, kahit mag-isa ka lang, at 99, yung, yung hindi nawawala, kahanapin ka niya. And yun sa nakakahiya na siya pa ang maghahabol, di ba? So, huwag kayong mahiya. Kahit anong mangyari, tatanggapin kayo ni Lord. Basta genuinely, you feel it in your heart to go back to Him. Because, again, He is our hope. He is our God. He is our victory in everything. Okay? Trust Him even in the unknown. Rest to that. Alright? So, maraming salamat po sa mga nag-share. Sana, kahit papaano, eh, na iparamdam natin sa inyo na ano man ang mangyari sa August 21 and 22, pinayagan yun ni Lord. Pero hindi ibig sabihin sa mga susunod na araw, eh, magpepetix ka na lang. You still do your best. You still let Him see that you deserve this. You still believe that you can still do something. I always tell this to my students, nasa perspective lang yan, Beshi. Kaya ka nag nabibilisan sa oras kasi natatakot ka. Pero pwede mong baguhin yung pag-iisip mo. Parang baliw naman yung sinabi ko nga. Let me give you an example. Are you guys watching Nevertheless? I, I only started watching it because I became curious dun sa mga nag-share sa timeline ko. Pero I, I tried watching it. But uh, uh, yung, yung ano niya, yung episodes niya is per week, right? And believe me, di ba pareho tayo na naramdaman na parang ang tagal naman ng one week para sa susunod na episode. Imagine seven days is already long enough for you. Kasi ang ini excited ka. Gusto mo agad mangyari. Ngayon, kung iba ibabalik natin ang usapan sa board exam, 26 days to go, natatakot ka kasi feeling mo wala ka ng oras kasi ayaw mong dumating. Natatakot ka kasi. Diba? I mean, nasa perspective lang yan. If you are waiting for something to happen because you're excited about it, masyadong matagal. Pero if you're waiting for that dates to come because you're uh, and you're scared na mangyari yon, parang ang bilis ng panahon. Alright? So pwede mong isipin na ganito. One month na lang, matatapos din tong lahat ng to. At RMT na ako. Or one month pa. At marami pa akong pwedeng magawa. At susubukan kong isang tabi na ang lahat ng nararamdaman ko takot kasi I am now fearless. Fearless because God holds my heart steadily and I am willing to accept whatever it is that God is going to give me on August 2021. But I will do my best in all the days to come 
na ipakita sa kanya na deserving ko to, kahit hindi ko matapos lahat, kahit feeling ko hindi enough, basta I'm doing my best every day and I'm trying to um, improve myself genuinely without any bad things na ginagawa like uh, cheating or leakage. No, basta honest ka, believe me, God will give this to you. Pero dapat buo. And totoong-totoo yung nararamdaman mo sa puso mo na willing kang i-accept. Beshi, tanong sa akin ng mga students, did you ever feel prepared for the exam? And my answer is, no. Wala akong pakiramdam na confident akong natapos ko lahat ng reviewers for CC, Micropara, CM, HEMA, ISBB, Stupat. Wala. I didn't have that confidence in myself. But I do believe in God and His plans for me. So I was not prepared for the exam, but I was prepared for the blessing to come. Whatever it is, be it a top-notcher, a passer, or a failure, I will fully accept. Because I believe in God and I believe He knows better than I. Okay? So, wala na atang mag-share. No? Maraming salamat. Gusto ko po kayong pasalamatan sa time na in-spend nyo na makasama kami at marinig ang mga sinasabi namin. No? You, you, are, um, you did not waste your time and I thank you for that. And so, sana uh, you will keep on praying not only for yourself but for others, especially those na nagsa-self-review na feeling nila ay walang nakakaalala sa kanila. Let us be the one who will pray for them. Okay? Mga beshi, laging tatandaan na kung pangarap mo, kung pangarap mo, at kung nararamdaman mo si Lord talaga ang naglagay ng pangarap na yan sa puso mo, ibig sabihin kaya mo. Kailangan mo lang ilaban. Kasi paano ka mananano kung hindi ka lalaban, di ba? God will never give you a dream without giving you the ability and qualification to accomplish that dream. So the only thing that you need to do right now is give your full trust in Him. So when we say we trust Him, we will not be uh, scared anymore. We will be able to say out loud, I'm doing my best. God will do the rest. When I'm weakest, God is the strongest. And whatever I may feel in the future, be it anxiety, nervousness, fear of failure, or the pain that it might give me, I will always hold on to that trust. That God knows better than I, and He will never leave me nor forsake me. I am willing to submit myself to Him for um, the change that I needed to undergo, to be deserving of the prayers that my heart carried. But more importantly, I am now praying that God give me what He wants in my life and not my wants, not my will, but His will be done. Okay? Uh, bago po natin i-end ang ating session, I am going to share with you a prayer that is very, very fitting for our team tonight. And before we close, I would just like to, again, remind everybody that you are loved, most especially by Him. He never sleeps and He never gets tired of hearing your prayers. So, go back to Him. Okay? Wala ibang makakatulong sa atin kundi siya, kaya claim it already. Happy, ready. RMT ni Lord is August 2021. Alright, so let me just prepare our prayer for tonight and before um, singing this song, let me just pray for you. Lord, we thank you for an opportunity to gather tonight, Lord, kahit po online to praise you, glorify you, Lord, and acknowledge your presence in our lives. Lord, in, month, in one month's time, there is a great battle to be overcome, but as early as now, we are thanking you for the victory is already ours. There will be days that we might forget that we have you, Lord, but please send um, blessings, Lord, send people uh, to remind us that you are greater than anything else. Lord, we are only humans, and so please forgive us if in the, um, the times 
in the past, Lord, or even in the future, that we will be breaking down and we will still doubt your goodness in our life, Lord. But please, we are praying that you change our hearts. Lord, make us steady. Make our hearts steady and make our hearts very willing, Lord, to accept whatever it is that you are going to give each and every one of us. We know that every one of us will have their own struggles, Lord, will have their own version of their stories. But Lord, you know na hindi niyo po kami nilalagay sa mga sitwasyon ng walang dahilan. May we always remember that all the struggles that we are uh, we are in will be, make us stronger persons, more resilient and more capable of what the future will bring us. Lord, in everything that we do, may we glorify you, Lord. May you be the center of everything that we want to do in our lives. And please forgive us, Lord, for all the shortcomings namin po at mga kasalanan, lalong-lalo na yung mga ipinagpapasabi uh, kasi pabi namin gawin para po sa inyong pangalan dahil lamang kami ay nagpe-prepare para sa aming board exam. Lord, help us change into someone who really deserves to be called RMT ni Lord. Someone who will be used by you to um uh to help our patients, our future patients become healed in your name, Lord. Help us to become the kind of RMTs that you want us to be. The kind who will always choose kindness over anything else. Lord, alam namin na mahirap ang mga pagdadaanan namin sa mga susunod pang parte ng buhay namin, pero ngayon pa lamang po ay kami uh, nagpapasalamat dahil uh, prinepare niyo po kami and blinas niyo po kami ng ability to overcome everything that will come our way. Lord, we acknowledge your presence in our lives, Lord, that we cannot do anything without you. And so we say that with you, everything is possible. Lord, we may be overwhelmed by feelings of anxiety. We may be scared. We may be um, thinking that passing or topping the board exam is already impossible given the number of days to go and the number of reviewers that we still have. But please always make us see that you are already aware of what's going to happen to us this August. You already know that we are RMTs in your name. And so we will be um, uh, in good hands, Lord. Uh, we, 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 we don't have any reason to be scared anymore. We will fear no more because you are in control and you will always be. Lord, as we part ways tonight, let each and uh, every one of us feel that we are never alone in this journey and that someone will always be praying for anyone in the group, even those who will be able to watch this in the future, and that you are alive. Lord, we also lift up to you everything that our that are in our hearts right now na uh, walang kinalaman sa review, katulad na lamang po ng um, uh, kalusugan at buhay ng aming mga pamilya at mga mahal sa buhay, Lord. Uh, patuloy niyo po kami protektahan sa kahit anumang sakit at sakuna. Patuloy niyo po sana kami bigyan ng pag-asa, Lord, na mabuhay pang muli sa mundong ito at um, makita po sana namin ang purpose ng bawat isa sa amin. At um, mag mag magamit niyo po sana ang aming buhay para sa inyo pong uh, kadakila. Lord, as we end tonight, we are going to pray this prayer and I pray that everyone here will uh, pay attention to the lyrics and live it out because we say that you make Everything beautiful in your perfect time. Blessing. 
everything becomes mine in the Lord's time. What I seek, I shall find. If I never quit knocking or talking to Him, I know He'll answer. He always answers. He hears me, and the answer comes in His time. All my heart I give Him, each day in fervent prayer. His gentle Spirit fills me to let me shall find if I never quit knocking or talking to him I know he'll answer he always answers he hears me and the answer comes in his time he loves me so the answer comes in his time In the Lord's time, if you want to hear it again. Before we go, let me ask you, what are you feeling right now? What are you feeling right now? Hmm? What are you feeling right now? Are you still scared? <laughs> are you still um, anxious? Do you want this? You want this, right? Dalawa na yung Magpawa mo na rin yung una mo this August 2021. Kaya, laban na mga beshi. Ito gusto nyo, di ba? Hmm. Kunin nyo na. Oh. <laughs> Hindi ako magyayabang. I'm just saying. Nauna lang ako. At oras niya na. Ngayon. Right? So, good night everyone. Always remember that God loves you so much. Thank you for gracing this activity. And see you again sa mga susunod pa nating mga sessions. Bye everybody. Uh, happy, ready, RMT Guard, August 2021. <laughs> Bye!